Down to two seconds, loses it, scoops it up, slotted away, and Brooklyn takes game seven on the Raptors' home court. May 4th, 2014. Man, how things have changed. It was the start of a string of first-round exits. It was before the Raptors earned the right to lose to LeBron. Drake was just named Global Ambassador. Back then, he had us bumping. Nothing was the same. But since then, literally, nothing is the same. Masai was the fresh new GM and not yet the beloved president. Pascal Siakam not only wasn't on the team, he had just started playing the sport. Kyle Lowry is the only remaining player from that team. Believe it or not, it got worse before it got better. The brooms came out in Washington. The truth hurt in back-to-back years. Kicks out to Pierce. Gets off the three. What did you expect from the truth? You said before the series that they didn't have the it factor. It was something that I said from day one. I just saying what I felt. But after the tough talk, the real talk is the Raptors, and really their fans, got the last word. Wale and the Wizards aren't talking all that noise anymore. It's the sixth god gassing up the team. I want my chips with the dip, that's all I know. Tonight belongs to Toronto. And now, all of a sudden, people are starting to put respect on the name. How good was the environment that you were in tonight in Toronto? Electric, inside and outside. Is that good enough for you? This is one of the best kept secrets in the world, and the Raptors are gonna win tonight. We've grown up since. We thanked Vince, lost good men along the way, and had a laugh with the fun guy. (laughs) <laughs> For the first time ever, the Larry O.B. came north. Three million at the parade before social distancing. And get your masks ready because it very well might happen again. Real ones know. We are the prototype on the court on societal justice issues. So shout out to the players we've lost from that team that weren't around to see the mountaintop. They were the start of something, a movement that's come full circle. Let that net series remind you how much this team has changed, how much our world has changed, from being known for the fans in the park to no fans. From We the North starting as a slogan to Down South with Black Lives Matter as the mantra. From then to now, the team has changed the country and is now endeavoring to change the world. But what else would you expect from world champs? A phrase that you'd never expect when the buzzer sounded in the spring of 2014. Back to back is now the phrase of expectation when the last buzzer sounds from the Disney bubble in the fall of 2020. So it's only right that the journey starts where it started. We're Brooklyn at.